Okay, so what I have here is finding the compound interest. So um, remember when we're talking about compound interest, what compound interest is being able to compound on your initial, initial investment, which we call our principal, plus previous interest earned. So our, pre, our initial investment is going to be $5,000. And the interest rate, the annual interest rate on this account is going to be um, 8%. And we're going to compound this weekly. So that means after every week, it's going to compound um, the, after the interest rate on my initial investment plus previous interest. And we're going to do this for 30 years. And what we want to do is determine the final value because that's what it's asking is what is the final value. So we have our formula here where we know that our final value is what we're trying to find, which is A. So we're going to leave that blank. We have P, which is going to be our initial investment or what we call our principal which is $5,000. So what that means, if you go to an account uh, or go to put your money in an account that has this description, this is what you can expect. You put $5,000 into them. They say, all right. We're going to take your annual uh, interest rate, which is 8%. So we write that in decimal form. And we're going to compound that weekly. So now we need to determine, well, how many weeks are there in the year? And when we're compounding weekly, we use 52 weeks in the year. Then we do 52 times 30 years. It's not a bad gig if you can find it. All right, so now we need to go and figure out what is going to be all these values, uh, or what are going to be the values for this formula. So to do that, uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to simplify my parentheses. So I take 0 0.08, divide it by 52, and then I add that to 1. So therefore, now I have A equals $5,000 times 1.0015. 3, 8. Now, I'm just going to keep everything in my calculator, um, but I'm writing these down so you guys can just kind of see um, what exactly everything's going to be. So I could also do 52 times 30, which is 1,560. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to take 1.0015384 8462, and I need to raise it to 1,560, and that's going to give me A equals. 5,000 times 11.0029. And again, I'm just rounding this up. But you always want to use as much values as your calculator will allow you, just to make sure you're not rounding pennies like the Office Space movie. You know, Don't want to be doing that. But therefore, ladies and gentlemen, after 40 years, you will now have in your account $55,014.00. Thirty-seven cents. So that means if you could put five thousand dollars into an account and after forty years have fifty-five thousand, that's not doing so bad, right? That's pretty good. Um, and just for putting your money in there and just gaining compound interest. That's why compound interest is so uh, is so cool. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a way for you to learn how to earn some money. Thanks.